Here's the question. So you want to get a espresso machine, but no one is shell thousands of dollars. Well, in this video, we're going to dive into this espresso machine right here and figure out why I think that this is the most valuable money espresso machine that you can get right now on the market. Let's go. Let's first just talk about the price. This huge honking machine right here is priced at 3,200 ringgit Malaysia. So that makes it about 800 US dollars for those of you who are in America, right? And for 800 US dollars or 3,200 ringgit, what do you get for a espresso machine? Well, let's just first talk about the specs. First of all, you get a boiler that is 750 milliliters. You get dual PID and you get a saturated goop head, you get a thermal block that can steam the milk and pull the shot at the same time. What you also get, it has a shot clock or a shot timer. And last but not least, you can adjust the temperature based on the type of beans that you have. Now let's just first talk about PID. What's a PID? A PID basically helps you to smoothen out or achieve the set temperature as consistently as possible. Think about it in this way. You drive a car. Your car has a cruise control. You're setting, you're setting it at 70 miles an hour, right? And sometimes you realize that your car, if it's going up here, maybe it's struggling to reach 70 miles an hour. And it's going down here, maybe it's passing way past 70 miles an hour. But what a PID does is it helps smoothen out that fluctuation, right? So you will not fluctuate too much and you would stay within that range of 70 miles an hour. Now, this PID is the same thing, 93 degrees. It tries to achieve 93 degrees at that minimal fluctuation. So what, did, what, did, what does it translate to you, right? It means that you would get a consistent shot after shot, ideally with a PID, but obviously you're limited by a few factors. One of the biggest factors is it has a relatively small boiler of 8.75 liters so it's not very big so if you're going to pull five six seven eight shots continuously it's definitely going to reach the limit of this espresso machine because it needs time to heat up the temperature or uh, to heat up the water again so that you can uh, get the most consistent shot from shot after shot now if you're just making two to three cups that's perfectly fine now the upside for this machine is that you can steam the milk and also you can pull an espresso shot at the same time because it uses a thermal block technology. Now the steaming capability of this machine is pretty good. I would say it's better than a most reviews machine out there. Um, it can steam really good texture for a 300 milliliter cup. It will take you maybe about 60 seconds or under to steam a milk, right? And you could pour the latte out. It gives you good texture, good consistency. No complaints about it or a home espresso machine. Uh, now, the next thing is that it has a saturated group head, meaning water is constantly going in and out of this machine, giving you as fresh of a water as possible. So this is really good because not only does it give you fresh water, but it also gives you, or it also heats up that group head so that your temperature is as constant as possible, right? Now, the next thing about this feature or the feature of this machine, it has a pre-soaking feature, meaning when you turn on the machine, it will turn on and soak the puck for about five seconds. And after five seconds, it will then continue on to pull or uh, let go all the water, right? So what it does is basically it gives you a consistent shot or as consistent as possible, right? Now, the last thing is that I've mentioned, you can adjust temperature of it. So what does that mean to you? Well, typically, for a light roast, you would use a higher temperature. For a dark roast, you would use a lower temperature, right? For a medium roast, you would use a medium temperature. So what this does, it, it gives you a leeway of 90 degrees Celsius all the way to 96 degrees Celsius that you can adjust the machine. But bear in mind, whenever you turn on and off this machine, it will default back to 93 degrees Celsius. And so what you have to do is you have to hit the button and preset and adjust it accordingly based on the coffee that you're using. That this machine right here has 
all the features that you would need for 85% of the home consumer market, right? It's not the best espresso machine to look at, but yet at the same time, I think it achieves and gives you most of the thing that you want out of a espresso machine for a home use at least, right? But if you're thinking about using this for a commercial setting, maybe it's not the best thing, right, to use it. Or I would not encourage you to use this for a, um, a, a commercial setting. But for a home machine, it's value for money. $800 for, for that kind of money, you could get everything that you probably need from a espresso machine. The only downside that I can find that maybe you would like to tinker with is pressure profiling, right? And then again, some machines like the Lamazoko Linear Mini doesn't have pressure profiling. So it really depends. For me, I've owned it for two years, use it all the time, definitely suit my needs. I just want to make a quick review to let you know that, you know what? Sometimes you just don't have to spend tons of money on us just uh, like being peer pressured to buy the latest greatest machine and then to regret it later on right because you spent too much money last but not least is this uses a 58 millimeter porter filter uh, porter filter right so meaning you could swap up commercial parts commercial machines are all using 58 millimeter and use it it works so what do you think about it would you get this machine or would you skip it and get something that's more reliable See you in the next video. Bye.